My name is Brain of Terror and I'm an NSO at Dublin Roller Derby. In this video I'm going to look at the handling of timeouts with the scoreboard. So let's say jam starts, jam ends, and then a timeout of some form is called. So what you can do is you've got this button here called timeout. And we now go to timeout. Now the next thing you want to be doing is saying then okay which type of timeout is it? Like, is it an official timeout? Maybe it's an official review, or maybe it's a team timeout, and you update it. Oh, actually, no, it was the other team. Oh, it's the other team's official review. Sometimes it's not always clear and takes some gesturing from the uh, jam timer to clarify these things. Now, you'll notice as I click around that the dots and the numbers here are automatically updated. Anyway, so at some point, this timeout is going to come to an end. You can adjust it up and down if you need to for some reason. And we hit end timeout. That's when the rolling whistle happens. And there'll be a lineup clock. So the jam has to start by 30, otherwise technically there will be an official timeout. Um, and then you'll have your five seconds and the new jam will start. All is well and good. Cool. We're going to have another jam. We're going to take timeout and it's an official timeout. Now let's say after this official timeout that one of the teams actually then wants to take a timeout. Now what you want to do then is there's this new timeout button will start a second timeout. Okay so we're now in a new timeout and we can say oh actually that was a team timeout. Grand. If there was for some reason a third timeout after this one you would once again hit new timeout and let's say it's an official review. Grand. In the event that the official review is retained, you can press the retained button and it pops back up. The other thing to note then here is the period clock. You may need adjustment, like you might have pressed the button too late, in which case the jam timer will use whatever the prearranged signal which you is and you can adjust this up and down, normally only up. Once again, and all these timeouts are over, you can hit end timeout. Now, the other thing to be aware of is that if you click in here, so hitting the number of timeouts, you can actually adjust where the timeouts were and what type they were. So if it turns out that that review wasn't retained, you can flick it here, or actually it was the other team that had the official review, you can switch that so all the numbers will stay correct. So actually none of that was the other team, that's fine, or if you just don't know. Or if it turns out a timeout doesn't happen, you can delete it, or you can insert a timeout or change the ordering if you just want to get the paperwork perfect. That's all well and good. So the other case you need to worry about is the end of a period. So I'm just going to jump things forward, and we're going to start a jam. And we're going to assume this goes on, and it is strategically called off with good time management after the 30 seconds. So everything goes red to say, hey, there's less than 30 seconds in the period, there will not be another jam. So in this circumstances, if there is an official timeout, like officials' actions can't cause another jam, so when they end the timeout, you know, there's still not going to be another jam. If, however, one of the teams take a timeout, and you actually go directly in, you don't have to go via a new timeout, although just for consistency and speed, I would suggest so. They have their timeout. And once that's over, we'll have our usual thing, have a jam, period's going to expire. So that's how you deal with the case where there is going to be a, a, another jam because the timeout was called in the last 30 seconds, that's how you deal with it. Now the other situation you might have, and we'll just set the time back and get that running. Just cheating a little bit, don't do this in the game. So once again, let's say at the end of the period, cool, jam was stopped, there's not going to be another jam. And I'll just advance the time here, grand. And now period one is over. However, it turns out there was a timeout, it just wasn't spotted in time. So you can go up here to end of period controls 
and say timeout before period end, which is basically saying go back in time and pretend there was a timeout with two seconds left in the period clock. In which case, that's the case, and that was a team timeout, there will be another jam. Now this is something more likely to happen in the second period than the first, but it's the same handling in both cases. Um, and that's basically everything you need to know. It's the exact same then. If we go into period two, so start the jam, stop the jam, go into period two, you'll notice the official reviews will have reset because you get those back normally, uh, at least in the with the rules. And this is all the same again. And that is how you deal with timeouts in CRG.